morning, guys. Yeah, so we're at the Tri-County Shrine Club this morning in Clarksville, where the um, Indiana Reptile Breeders Expo will be taking over on Sunday. We're introducing you to some of these reptiles that you might see this weekend. Dennis, what is this? This is a, an, a bearded dragon. They okay. are they're pretty cool. They come from Australia. They're a diurnal species, which means they're active during the daytime, so they make awesome pets. They're super social. This is a, a very special one. It is a scaleless bearded dragon. So usually they have these rough scales, but occasionally you can uh, produce these that have no scales, kind of like a hairless cat. I, I mean, can I touch? Sure. A hairless cat. That is exactly what she feels like. It looks like she's enjoying the rubs, though. Her eyes are closed, I yeah, think. Yeah, well, so my hand's warm, so uh -huh. if, if, if you were holding her, you would feel her belly. Here, you hold oh. You would oh. feel her belly kind of flatten out, and they absorb heat, so she's just She'll lay down nice and flat and absorb all your heat. We hope so. She doesn't like jump, does she? Probably not. Okay, cool. So what's the purpose of 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 her? So <laughs> what does she do? Most reptile people don't like to be boring, right? Okay. So um, not that some some cats and dogs are cool, but <laughs> but you're the talk of the town, the neighborhood when you've got a cool like reptile or some different type of animal. Super easy to care for. Uh, a majority of them are and just more uh, more more fun I yeah, think. Yeah I see and so this this building is going to be filled with lots of vendors and things yes. like that this weekend what can we expect? Yeah so we just opened up a second room and we've got vendors setting up outside normally we had around 80 tables we're over 130 tables now wow. so we just almost doubled in size so there'll be uh, 130 tables of just reptiles and supplies the breeders that produce the animals so they, they're the ones that can tell you how to properly care for them all properly and uh, everything you need here. That is so cool. This is Sunday um, from 10 to 4. It's $5 admission. Yep. Well, I don't have reptiles, and I know this is a breeder's expo. Would it still be interesting for me to come? Absolutely. This is for, for everybody. We have tons of people that come just to check out. Uh, we do, like, Boys and Girl Scouts. If you come in uniform, you can set something up. We give you free admission, oh. police, fire, and EMS, all kinds of uh, things to do here. Something interesting you told me about, about her is that the skin you have to like kind of help the skin peel yeah, sometimes yeah so when they normally shed by themselves but this is a, a, a scaleless or a silky bearded dragon she has issues shedding herself so you got to kind of get to help her out give her aloe vera and rub her down and it's She's a lot of extra work, but she's I, I, super pretty. It seems like she might be a little pampered. She, uh, Dennis told me that he actually helps like, clip her fingernails, and there's yeah. also lotion, like aloe vera, um, <laughs> on her head this morning. <laughs> so That's really sweet. They help her out. I'm curious, though, because animals are in the wild, and they usually can do mm -hmm. that on their own. Did I just miss that? What, how they normally do that? A special breed. Oh, a special, a special breed. I gotcha. Well, Alex, cool. you're very brave for holding that. This <laughs> well, I don't morning. think she was ready I'm for it. He just popped move. it in her hand. <laughs> She's being very still, very careful. I, you know, hats off to you, Alex. Very her cool. world. I'm just living in it. <laughs> <laughs>